My name is Andy Santana and I am an NYC captain. I've been driving boats for about eight years, eight, nine years, and it feels almost new every day. There's always something different happening. It's not your typical nine to five job. <laughs> NYC Ferry was really born out of, uh, first and foremost, the vision of the city of New York, Mayor de Blasio, uh, the New York City Economic Development Corporation, uh, understanding that there were needs uh, and areas within the city that were transit deserts uh, and could be best served by, uh, you know, putting a ferry into service. It's already made a lot, a lot better difference with transportation as far as getting around faster and not having to deal with traffic inside, you know, the city. My day usually consists of a combination of things. Once I come to work, I make sure my uh, boat's ready to start our run. We're out open, the open river, so you're not dealing with as much, you know, the hustle and bustle of the inner city. You can just transition from one point to the other and not have to worry about getting held up, getting stuck in gridlock traffic and stuff like that. I don't really like the buses. I feel like they're a little slow because of the traffic in New York. Having the ferry is definitely something very useful. I, I, I find it a lot better than the train. There is traffic in the river, but it's not, you know, like a, a type of traffic that you would have to slow down and stop the boat completely. It's always, you slow down, but you can still keep the schedule. New Yorkers historically, when the city first founded a few hundred years ago, you know, traveled between the boroughs via ferries. Uh, and it's really exciting to be able to bring back something that people may perceive as an old mode of transit that's refreshed uh, through app connectivity you know, onboard concessions, an amazing crew to be able to connect areas now that have historically been forgotten through public transit. The idea was to create a new form of transit that would connect neighborhoods that historically have not had access to quality and affordable uh, public transit. So, you know, we're talking about neighborhoods like Red Hook, neighborhoods like Astoria and Queens, places where you have a lot of New Yorkers living in public housing and, you know, neighborhoods that people really need not just transit options but really affordable transit options. I commute from Rockaway to Brooklyn Army Terminal. With the ferry, it's 45 minutes, the commute, and before the ferry, it was an hour and 45 minutes commute for me. How's it going, bud? Good. I'll see you. Thank you. Got you inside. Absolutely. We're getting more and more riders, and you can, with the customers you see, you kind of get to recognize their faces, so you know they're, they're, they're dependent on us. I use a ferry every day, and it is a delight. I enjoy using it. Since our launch in May 1st of 2017, we've carried more than two and a quarter million riders. That's more riders than any of us expected. One of the, the biggest priorities for the de Blasio administration when we planned this route was to make sure that we were serving New Yorkers that have lived in neighborhoods for, in some cases, generations and have lacked access to transit. I think as many options as you have, it's better. I mean, Subway is great, um, bus, I never tried bus, but, but the ferry is definitely good and having more would be just better. Just getting around, you know, it seems like there's always traffic and, you know, the subway, it's just kind of a nice alternative to it. Hey, Kep, are you going to be coming about the starboard or the port? I'm going to be coming to the port. Some of the customers, they live near water, so it's probably a lot easier with our boats to, tra to you know, transit from one area to the other than, you know, dealing with, you know, other, other sources of transportation that might be a little less dependable. Over the years when there have been uh, everything from power outages to uh, the horrific events of 9-11 or Hurricane Sandy, uh, the maritime community has been called into action to be able to help support uh, the other modes and traditional modes of public transportation uh, to alleviate strains and help get people mobilized and off the island. New York City is really a, a city of islands. We're surrounded by water and so there are a lot of neighborhoods that can be reached from the water, often within mere hours of a storm or some other kind of incident of getting, moving people, moving goods, moving food or, or medicine or, or products that are needed. And, and NYC Ferry can really play an important role in that. 
through this project, through this expansion, that resiliency and uh, flexibility and additional options uh, have only increased now for the city of New York. We're going to be launching two new routes next year, one connecting all the way up to Soundview in the Bronx, one connecting the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and so people in Brooklyn and really all over the city are going to be able to access even more neighborhoods, uh, uh, all for the same price as a subway ride.